So I know I'm about to catch some hell on this one, but I'm just curious. So I got two issues I want to, I got a question on. So for all of our people out there, our protesters and stuff, and people that's out here protesting, these one policy people that's out here protesting for Palestinian rights. Now, before y'all come at me, first of all, I do support Palestine being a free state. I've always said it in my post. I'm not for funding a country that's committing genocide. I've never been for a country just been for this country that's getting funded by the U.S. of A., uh, giving them all kind of weapons and uh, money and stuff. I'm not for that at all, period, period. I'm just curious, though, because, I mean, I'm, I'm one of those supporters. I, I actually post stuff online. I actually I read at it for protests and stuff, too. But for the hardcore protesters, like the protesters that don't even want to have no talk or no discussion, like everything, is, if it stops where it's at, if we go and protest, why are you not protesting on at 45's rally? Like, why are you not at 45's rally with that same smoke that y'all be coming out here with at the Democratic rallies and stuff? Like, y'all be trying to shut down, stop when the Democrats be up there speaking. But I don't see none of y'all at 45's rally. And I'm just curious as to why are you not doing that? I mean, you saw what happened during the Black Lives Matter protest, and some actually went to some of his rallies. I get it. Fear is a hell of a drug. Hey, We was everywhere, catching them bats, catching them water hoses, them dogs, and everything. We was everywhere. And the same thing for the Black Lives Matter movement, all of that stuff. We were out there in, in the thick of it, getting beat down water holes and tear gas put in our face. But for some reason, I don't see y'all at 45's rally. And I could be wrong. I could, really could be wrong, but I don't see y'all at 45's rally. Not as much as I see y'all at the other Democrats rally, because I saw it firsthand, too. <laughs> I say that because no matter who wins, it's going to be a determining factor who is going to give you what you want. So if you're thinking the Democrats going to win, which I understand you want to be at the protest and you want to make sure that your opinions and your views are put forth, then why are you not doing the same for the Republican candidate in the event that 45 wins and you're trying to yell and convince him? Because like, like, I don't really do much too much talking. I'll be screaming and yelling. I don't, I don't do any of those things. But why are y'all not doing the same thing for the Republicans that you are for the Democrats? Because at the end of the day, you want your policy and you want your views to be heard and you want people to, you want this country to stop funding a genocide, which I can get that 100%. But then why are you not doing it for the other side to make sure that even if they get into power, that they change their viewpoints up and stop funding that, that genocidal country? And then the second thing too is, all of y'all 45 supporters, all of y'all that says uh, Trump 2024, like, every time somebody, especially a celebrity, somebody posts their support for the Harrison Waltz campaign and supporting their, their, their election and their presidency because they're going to win. I have a confession to make. I have never voted. Not because I haven't wanted to, but because I've never been eligible. But this year marks the first time that I'm going to be able to vote. And I can't believe I get to vote for a black woman! Hey, look, man, we're at the DNC, Democratic National Convention. How do you feel about it? You know what? We'll, be, we'll, we'll get work from you. We're at the DNC, and this is some human shit. We're going to make some more shit. Why is it that y'all got so much smoke in the comments calling people communists? But my question to y'all is, why are y'all not out canvassing trying to get your message out? Like, why are you not out knocking on doors? Since you say this dude is such a good dude and he got great policy, well, then why aren't you out communicating that to the people that you need to help win. Because, I mean, y'all are set in stone. Just like the Biden supporters were set in stone that you know you know who you're going to vote for. So if that's who you're going to vote for, why are you not out trying to convince all of us other undecided people uh, to, to vote for him? Like, you, you, you got all the smoke in the comment section. You got all the smoke in the comment section. But you won't actually do the boots on the ground work and actually get out in canvas and knock on doors and tell people this man's policies and what he's going to do to help this country out. You can say it online because everybody got everybody got everybody keep what worries online. But when it comes to actually putting your feet to the ground and actually knocking on doors and seeing people in their face and in their eyes and trying to convince them to support your candidate. Why, why are y'all not out there doing that? And I got a, I got a clue as to why. But I, why are y'all not out doing that? So let's talk about that.